In this video, I'm going to be talking about why Blunder Bombs are still overpowered in 2023, even after getting nerfed in December of 2022. The reason they're so overpowered is actually because of a secret mechanic that hardly anyone knows about. So if you want to hear more about that and how you can use it in your gameplay, make sure you stay tuned for the whole video. If I told you that you can use Blunder Bombs to guarantee that someone notices your broadside or completely turns away from you, you'd think that's pretty overpowered, right? Well, I'm going to show you how to do exactly that. The way Blunder Bombs work is actually pretty strange, and it all has to do with K11 on the map, also known as the Sea Dogs Tavern. For whatever reason, when a blunder bomb hits a boat, if it hits the front of the boat, it'll turn the boat towards K11, and if it hits the back of the boat, it'll turn the boat away from K11. Having this knowledge is extremely overpowered, because you can essentially control your enemy's ship. Let me explain how. Let's say you spawn into a PvP fight, and you're northwest of K11. Then both you and your enemy start to turn your boats so that you can get cannons on each other. Now if you know that the fight is going on northwest of K11 because you checked your map, you know that shooting blunder bombs at the back side of your enemy's boat will turn them towards you because doing so turns boats away from K11. Doing this will leave the enemy completely unable to attack you and sailing straight into your cannon broadside where you can then demask them and shoot cannonballs at them. Now let's say for whatever reason you miss your chain shots and you don't demask them, or maybe the enemy recovers their boat after you demask them and starts to get away. Well now obviously you're going to need to get another broadside on them, but you can use this trick to help you when you do. Okay, so now you've got another broadside on the enemy. Since you know that the fight is taking place northwest of K11, you know that at any point in the fight, if the enemy is southeast of you, that you can shoot blunder bombs at their backside to make them turn towards you. And you can also shoot blunder bombs at their front side to make them turn away from you, if you're taking heavy fire. And the opposite also applies. If the enemy at any point in the fight is northwest of you, you know that you can shoot blunder bombs at their front side to make them turn towards you, and blunder bombs at their back side to make them turn away from you. Now here's something that'll work no matter where your fight location is. A good rule is, if at any point in the fight, if the enemy is in the same direction that your guys' fight is from K11, then shoot the front of their boat to turn them towards you, and shoot the back of their boat to turn them away. And if your enemy is in the opposite direction than your guys' fight is from K11, shoot the front of their boat to turn them away from you, and the back of their boat to turn them towards. Now that I've told you how everything works, let's show a demonstration in game. As you can see, my boat is at Skull Keep and it's facing west. I have a circle on the map at K11, which is southwest of me. So if I shoot blunder bombs at the front of my boat, it should start to turn more southwest. Now coming back to the map, you can see how my boat changed its position because of those two blunder bombs. It's now more southwest. Here's before and here's after. Now let's shoot blunder bombs at the back of the boat and see what happens. Yet again, you can see my boat is at Skull Keep facing west. Coming back to the map after shooting those three blunder bombs, you can see that the boat has drifted more north and is now facing further away from K11. Here's before and here's after. And here's a video of this technique being used in a real fight. As you can tell, my teammate and I purposely blunderbombed their nose to make them face us so that they couldn't return can fire on us while we could demask them. Now that I've shown you why blunderbombs are still incredibly overpowered, if this video helped you, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. And also leave a comment letting me know if you're going to use this in your gameplay. If you don't, this will happen to you and not even blunderbombs will save you. Anyway, thanks for watching guys.